Hi, and welcome to Doctors Financial. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, my name is Dr. V. Today I'm going to be talking about ticker symbol BNGO, Bio Nano Genomics. They're going to be reporting their earnings after market close on tomorrow. Analysts are estimating a five cent per share loss on 3.5 million dollars in um, revenue. Now, what they report is not that big of a concern to me. What's most important is the presentation and the guidance that they're going to be given going forward. There's a lot of momentum behind this company, and there was a big run already starting at the um, ending of last year into this year. I got into the company at $1.70, and, and I have been uh, taking profit and buying back in repeatedly. I currently have a 1,000 shares, so I'm very interested in what uh, they're going to be saying as far as guidance going forward. If you're not familiar with bio nanogenomics, let's go take a dive and look a little bit about who they are. Here we are. Bio nanogenomics, they're a gene mapping company. And their main tool is this, the Sapphire machine. Most genomic uh, mapping tools are huge. One of their competitors, uh, Pacific Bio, Pack Bio, their machine is about the size of a refrigerator. And they co the cost of uh, mapping a gene with them is a lot more expensive than uh, bio nanogenomics, almost 10 times as expensive. Right now, it's under $500 to use this Sapphire mapping system. And, it, and as, as you can see, it's only the size of a, a small printer or a small fax machine. So that's great for a lot of hospitals, doctor's offices. They can have it and it doesn't take up a lot of space. What makes this company so great is the ability of the Sapphire machine to detect cancers very early, especially blood-borne cancers such as leukemia. However, they are also proving um, their ability to detect cancers in solid-state tumors early on as well. So that's just another added bonus to the power of the Sapphire machine and what bio nanogenomics um, can do and will be doing in the future. And that's what has me excited about this company and why I got into this company. And I'm glad I got into it early, but there is still room to grow, especially if there's a pullback after a positive earnings and positive guidance. Look out for that. All right. Let's go into some of the pricing of the stock. We can see back on March 1st, 4th, it got all the way down to 690. There may be a possible pullback to that area. So look for, look for it. It may get into the sevens, maybe even the sixes. I don't suspect it will, but if it does, be ready. That's a great buying opportunity. All righty. So let's get in and look at what the futures are holding. We can see that the futures are red. So tomorrow, it may be the stock market may be down early, but as we've been seeing, the market has been pivoting either up or down depending on which way it's been going. I know today it was going up, and then all of a sudden there was a little drop off at the end. But most of, most of all, it was trading pretty much sideways. And from what we can see, it's going to be kind of sideways now in the future, for in the futures market. I'm going to be bringing this video to a close. If you aren't investing already, I just got off of a coaching call with the client and he's very excited about getting into investing. I was talking to him about the difference between Roth and traditional IRAs. 
and uh, what would be best for him. He is going to be getting in contact with his brokerage and opening his, his account on tomorrow, which is great. And I'll be giving him further guidance on uh, some stocks that I like and some ETFs that I that I like. Not that I would tell him to buy, but just to keep his eye out on and talk to his financial advisor about. Guys, and that's what it's about. It's about getting with the family and getting them to invest. Whether I know a lot of people feel like they don't have the money to begin investing, but it can be the loose change that you have uh, in your piggy bank, in your five gallon water cooler. I know a lot of people keep changing their five gallon water cooler. It can be the, uh, the dollars that you have in your pocket at the end of the day. A dollar here, a dollar, a dollar there. It adds up. $10, $15, $25 a month. It goes a long way into building a nest egg. Don't discount the power of small investments over time. And don't cut yourself short by saying you don't have enough. You can always find an excuse not to do something. But if you really stick it out and try to do it and get into investing, believe me, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth the uh, extra effort. And putting that money to work for you. You work hard for your money. Make sure that money is also working hard for you. Guys, if you're getting anything out of these videos, I kindly ask that you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Comment below. And most of all, share with others. Share this message of investing. That's going to be my rallying cry for 2021. To get more people investing. All right, I'm going to end with the word of prayer. And if you would like, you can pray with me. Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for blessing me, blessing us with another day. Continue to bless your people, Lord God. Bless us with strength, wisdom, and knowledge. Bless us so that we can do well in the, in the financial arena, particularly with investing, Lord God. Help us to do well in the stock market. Help us to make wise, deci wise decisions and be good stewards with everything that you bless us with. Bless our families for generations to come with financial independence. And may our cups run it over. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. All right. You guys be blessed.